All right, so here's a here's an example with a linear cost function. Uh, I'll have several of these examples. You, you can check them out if you uh, go to my YouTube channel and search just search linear cost function, and uh, you should find them. Uh, so let's take a look at this linear cost function. So it says. In a linear cost function, c of x is equal to mx plus b. So this probably looks familiar. You've seen this for slope-intercept form of a line, y equals mx plus b. Uh, m is our marginal cost, uh, which you can see that's the slope of the line. The number in front of x is your slope. And b is our fixed cost, which is the y-intercept. Okay. All right, so let's look at an example. Alright, so it says Toolworks spends $56,000 to produce 130 parts, achieving a marginal cost of $410. Find the linear cost function. Alright, so first, well, let's just write down our linear cost function. So C of X is equal to MX plus B. And then let's write down the information they give us. All right. So it says they spend fifty-six thousand dollars to produce a hundred and thirty parts. Okay. All right. So x x represents the number of parts. Okay. So a hundred and thirty of them they tell us cost fifty-six thousand dollars. So what does that mean? Well, if this is our cost function, if we take the 130, plug it in for x, we should get 56,000 as an answer. So, so how would we write that? Well, if we plug 130 in for x, or in other words, if we find, if we find c of 130, right? We're taking the 130 and plugging it in for x. That should equal the 56,000 after I evaluate it. And then they tell me that the marginal cost is $410. Well, we know from our definition over there that our slope m is the marginal cost. All right. So let's take all of this information here and let's plug it into here and see what we get all right so i've got c of 130 is equal to all right so m is 410 times x and what am i doing with the x well i'm replacing it or you can see here i'm replacing x with 130 plus b well, they don't tell me what B is, so plus B, and that should equal, once I evaluate it, that should equal 56,000. Now, I have another video, you can check it out, where they don't give you the marginal cost, but they give you the fixed cost, so you can check that one out. Uh, so let's go ahead, if you, if you look at this, you can see we have this equation here that we can solve for B. All right, so... I've got 410 times 130 plus B is equal to 56,000. All right, so let's see. 410 times 130, that is 53,300 plus B equals 56,000. And so if I subtract 53,300 to both sides, I get B is equal to 2,700. So look at this. I have B. I know M. So I can plug in M. I can plug in B. And that gives me my cost function. And so my cost function c of x, let me, I'll write it down here, my cost function c of x is equal to m, 
which is 410 times X plus B which is 2700 and there's your answer all right so I hope this video helped uh, give me a like share subscribe check out my other videos and thanks for watching